Hello, this is Joseph. Today I want to go over how to install MAMP and I'll talk about why I'm choosing MAMP right now. Um, so I'm a big proponent of Vagrant and, and using VirtualBox or any type of virtualization, even including Docker. But there are times where computers simply just cannot do that. And there's also the mentality that you have to mentally learn new ways to do things that you're very, very used to, or in many cases, this overly complicates something that you just want to dive in and get started. Who cares about if it's the quote unquote right way? Um, so installing the LAMP stack, which is standing for Linux, MySQL, Apache, and PHP, there's, there's a whole bunch of deviations of this, but the ones that are the most prevalent are MAMP, XAMPP, and WAMP. Now, if you're on Linux, there's, there's a lot of ways to do this, and I'm not going to really touch on that too much because there's, I think XAMPP is a great option. There's, there's a lot of things that you can already do that kind of circumvent having to set up everything manually. But for the instance of Mac and, and Windows users, I really do heavily recommend MAMP for the simplicity that it has. Um, there is the WAMP server, which is Windows only. Um, and MAMP was at some point Mac only, but they've extended it to actually have um, Windows support. So what do you need to do to get started? And what's the next step after this? So we're going to install MAMP for the reason to get started, let's say like a Laravel project. And so you have to download a Composer, do a bunch of Composer commands to get Laravel installed. And that's all fine and good. So we just need to click that download button. Um, when you do, just simply run the downloaded file, get the executable running, installed, and then you are presented with this. And I'll show you my Windows variants. Um, there's very little deviation between, kind of look and feel between them. And this one I already have started, so I'm going to stop it. So the thing I, I want to first jump into before we just click on Start Server is that traditionally, um, you have to jump through hoops to get the configuration files, figure out what port needs to run on, and they, and they front and center provide this to you uh, so you can change them as needed. The versions of PHP are here. There are more versions available on the website that you can download. The web server, you have the ability to choose between Apache and Nginx. And you can easily change the document root of where all the files are going to go for it, like just click on that little folder button. And when you do, you get to choose the folder. Now it's a little bit different on Windows here. When I go to preferences, you can then go to web server. It just shows the, uh, the document root with select and open. So you can just choose select and just go ahead and, and do that. And then you can click on open if you need to go ahead and figure out, okay, where do I need to put my files at? And that's this button here on Mac too. So that should open up your finder window there. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this to a folder here that I have called map. And I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and start this. Now when this gets started, it's going to go ahead and launch your default browser to whatever it is that you have it set to. Uh, on this Mac computer, I believe it's, it's Safari. And on my Windows machine, I believe it's Edge. So that's going to get started and then pop up here. Okay. Well, I guess it didn't do it in this in this um, way, but you can click on open web page, uh, and that will go ahead and show you the map splash page here. It's not like the root directory or anything else like that. You you'll see that it, it is a subfolder, and you get PHP info, you get PHP my admin. There's Python and Perl, and it tells you like what your uh, MySQL root password and all this other stuff if you're using different versions of PHP. Super super helpful. Um, and really just out of the box to you start it even quicker. And if you're like, okay, well, what's my website's URL? You just click on my website and it'll take you to it. Now, I don't have anything in the folder I had just set up, which is my MAMP folder. Um, so that's going to be blank. The other thing would be the PHP info, which is something we're going to get to right now. So click on PHP info because we need to figure out, okay, where is this PHP executable? Because I want to use it to run composer commands with. So the easiest way to do that is simply go to the PHP 9i um, section here 
and we're going to copy all the way up before the conf, the conf folder. I'm going to jump over to my terminal here. Let me open up a new one, actually. New window. Nice big terminal. And I copied too much, actually. And then we're going to go to bin and PHP. So to confirm, you can do like dash dash version. And now we're going to start to jump into Composer. So what I want to do is just download my Composer file and put it in my MAMP folder and then jump over to that folder and go ahead and run my Composer commands to install something like Laravel. So let's go ahead and just jump back over to my, uh, my Chrome. And I'm just going to go to Composer to the website, getcomposer.org, go to my download section. And I'm not going to run these commands. And it's simply because I don't have PHP um, environment at least linked to my MAMP setup. So I'm just going to jump over to the latest snapshots and download the latest version. So it's going to put it in my downloads folder. After that, I'm just going to go ahead and whenever that finishes, pull it over. So I have it there. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and CD to that directory. So CD to documents map and then I'm going to use my PHP command or my PHP executable with composer.var and just run it for now just to see if it works. You should be getting a bunch of these commands which are all fine and well so that's great. And then on Windows, let me just backtrack a little. On Windows it's, it's the same process. So I'm going to go ahead and then click on open start page just like the other one. And this is going to be a little bit different. Um, let me also go to my terminal, open that up. And I'm going to just click on PHP info. And what I'm going to do here is just figure out where the folder is at. So we have map um, with the C directory. So it's it'll be C slash map. And this will have the bin folder. Here you should have PHP. And it'll be the version of PHP we have running, which will be 1.7.1.5. And then it should be just php.exe. So same instance, we can do version just to check. And you would download the same thing all over again for Composer, except with Composer on Windows, you can actually just download the Composer, the Composer install, installer for Windows. So here I'm going to just click on Downloads. Download that. Go ahead and run it. And what this is going to let me do is actually choose where the PHP executable is. Now, I already have a separate version of that. Um, so I can click my Browse button for Windows and just go to, uh, I believe, where did I put? It'll be in my C drive, which I'm already there. Let's just go to the C drive, MAMP, bin. PHP, the last version of PHP, and select my executable. There we go. So then you just click on next, and so on and so forth. And now you have Composer installed, and it's already linked to your PHP installation. So then at that point, I can just reopen my terminal since it doesn't update all the time. And then I can do Composer. And that'll give me the, the composer stuff. So that, that's much more simpler on Windows. Mac is a little bit more nuanced in, in that there's uh, it's not automatically linked. There's certain ways to do that, but for now I'm just gonna try to keep it simple. So let's go ahead and just jump into the Laravel installation. So we can do uh, Laravel. And I'm just gonna jump over their documentation on installing it since I don't know it offhand. All right, so we're going to want to do the global require. So with Mac, I'm just going to press up and it gives me my PHP executable. This makes it a bit longer. And we're going to paste in that command. So global require Laravel installer and just go ahead and run it. So this is going to go ahead and run. 
uh, and install Laravel at the global capacity so that you can use the create command. Now, um, for Windows, this isn't going to work. You can't just run the, the Laravel command, I believe. And it will be easier just to run the create project preferred dist distribution, whatever that's called, distributed. OK, so that's running. And uh, then you would just go back. Let me see where am I at right now. Yeah, you'd go back instead of running the global whatever whatever you'd run the php installer stuff and i would call this like uh, my web app so that's going to go ahead and install i'm not sure how long that's going to take but what you would do then is jump over back to mount um, and if you ever get lost in like where your stuff is at, I think I had in Safari, but just in case you can just click on open web page again and then click on my website. And now I have my web app there in my folder. I can choose that and go to public. So yeah, that's all. There's there's a lot more this thing has to MAMP has to offer, but it should definitely get you started up and running with Laravel and the things that you need to do. Um, I did want to take a little bit of time to talk about MAMP Pro. So if you guys want to just hang on for a couple more minutes and you're interested in getting a discount on this, I'll, I'll talk about what's happening with that. Um, so I reached out to them because I started to look at their pro features and I thought like, this is actually really compelling. There's a reason why people want to further their development on a, on a lamp stock on, on a local computer. Um, because there are certain requirements. You, there's emails and then there's trying to get your local computer outside to the world. So if you want someone to gain access to your computer to look at the website you're looking at and you don't want to pay for hosting, um, MAMP Pro makes these things <laughs> very, very easy. And I, I can't state this enough. They have complete documentation. They have screencasts on how to get this stuff. There's support behind all of this. And it's currently for $60, but I've been in talks with them and they're offering um, five discounts of 50%, which will knock it down to, I believe, like a $28, which is much, much more approachable when you try to look at something like shared hosting. Um, and that's, that's, you know, very easily surpassed in a couple months. And if this is something you do much, much more PHP development on like WordPress or Drupal and, and all these others that really struggle when you're trying to work in a virtualized environment, I really do heavily recommend MAMP Pro. Um, now, personally, myself, I don't have MAMP Pro because for me, I already got, I've already gone through the Docker in the Vagrant route. I've, I've had setups to where a lot of the features that this offer for me, um, I just don't quite need, but I know a lot of my audience, they can't run Vagrant or VirtualBox or Docker or any other type of virtualization system, or uh, they just don't simply have the, um, the, the willpower, I guess to say, to wanna go ahead and actually learn these other things on top of what they're doing. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for uh, sticking through and I'll talk to you again.